So this was my first round of the tournament. I was facing off against ogres. And in the Warhammer universe, ogres are really large uh, man-eating beasts that are really hard to kill. They have lots of wounds on their, on each model. So it takes a lot to bring down one model, but that means they have bigger base sizes. So they're kind of less maneuverable, but they are fast and they deal a lot of damage. This is what the map looked like. Uh, we had hills in the corner. We had a chapel over here and a graveyard over here. And then in the middle, we had a few fences along with some monuments. These stars represent the objectives that were in the game in Age of Sigmar you need to hold objectives and you gain points throughout the battle rounds and whoever has the most points by the end of the battle wins. So this is how the armies were deployed. Uh, the ogre player had the top half and I had the bottom half. Um, we see that the ogre player had uh, the bulk of his army on, the r on my right flank with the token force on the left with his uh, spellcasters in the middle there. Myself, I had the spearmen holding the flanks to snag these objectives. They're really good objective holders. And then in the middle, I had my fast elites along with my shard bearer. My plan was to rush up the middle, take the center and hold it uh, with, my, with my best troops. And then in response to his heavy right flank, I deployed my heavy infantry on, on my right flank so that I could kind of combat that and, and hold his army in place with my heavy infantry. So I got the first turn and I moved around a little bit. I, I did some redeploying, made sure that I was able to grab these objectives. And then I brought up my heavy infantry, spread them out a little bit to give a nice uh, line of defense. And I brought up my assault heavy infantry as support to come in and, and help out when they get charged. I brought up Dalinar along with the Bright Lord and then I rushed up the elites along with my shard bearer and my bright lord and I was able to snag this objective. So after the first round, I had three points and then the ogre player during his turn, he left his ogres here. He cast a spell on my shard bearer, which brought him down to half health, which was kind of a really dangerous situation for me. So that was very worrisome. He then moved up his, his ogres his, and his heavy ogres. He brought them up like this. Uh, he was doing some damage with his cannon and his gunners, whittling, whittling down my forces, but not much. And then um, he was able to get his charge in. So the ogres had a really good charge and they had a really high pile in, which means they can, after they charge, they can even move further to kind of plow through. And so the ogres make it, this general comes into combat as well. And then these heavy ogres come in contact with my assault heavy infantry. Now we resolved combat and in the end, I lost basically all my assault heavy infantry, and I only had a few defense heavy infantry left, and I barely did any damage to them. So at this moment, I was kind of in a panic. Uh, I had just lost my right flank, and that's where the bulk of his army was. And so for my turn, um, I was able to do a little bit of spell casting with my light weaver to whittle down some of his priests, and then I brought up my elites up here. I sent my shard bearer over here. To the right flank. I retreated with Dalinar and the Bright Lord and the Heavy Infantry and I was able to heal up my Shard Bear through some spells with the Bright Lords or the, the Rune Lords. And then I kept my Spearman back here just hoping against hope that I could uh, hold this objective against this mass of ogres. And I also brought in my archers um, out of reserve. And so in this, in this time I was able to knock out his wizard and his priest and then my Shard Bear took out his general and whittled down many of his ogres and they, they hardly did any damage back because I did so much damage right off the get-go. So now, the, the, thankfully the tides have turned a little bit because I had just taken out all three of his heroes and so he couldn't generate command points, he couldn't give as many uh, commands which are really kind of an important piece of Age of Sigmar uh, tactics. So I, I had all the heroes but I did not have a lot of guys left. During his turn, he kind of got scared of my uh, shard bearer, so he kept his ogres in, he brought his heavy ogres over, uh, he brought these ogres in, they just clambered over that fence and charged right into my elites, and uh, these gunners and cannon moved up a little bit. Because he was going for the play, he wanted to take the center objective uh, with these guys, because then he could easily move his, his heavy ogres down here and take this one and, and kind of control the map from that point. However, the ogres got wiped out, and these heavy ogres got wiped out, and my shard bear was left with like one wound left. So he, he took a heavy beating from these ogres, but he was able to kill them all. So kind of really frustrating for my opponent. Then over here, 
my elites got beat up a little bit, but they packed a punch right back and they slew all these ogres. So in one turn, I was able to kind of mop up a lot of his ground forces. Uh, he still held these two objectives. And so on his turn, he brought in his gunners here to just knock out my shard bearer. And he, and he, he made a play to try and get this objective. Uh, in the end, he was able to kill the shard bearer. And then I brought my elites over here, formed a line. I had a few left from a thin line and I moved my archers over here to grab this objective and he had nothing else that he could do besides uh, bring his gunners in because I had set up the stroke point and bring the cannon in to try and knock through my elites but they had a great defense and they, they stayed in the game. And so at the end of his turn he conceded defeat on the fourth battle round out of five and uh, I took the victory. So this game was really fun. I was very scared when I lost my right flank. Uh, my, my heavy infantry did not perform as well as I had thought, but my elites did very well. And it was really fun to see the archers pop in and, and take out some of his key pieces. And so a lesson learned here is that if you ever play Warhammer Age of Sigmar, so you want to make sure that you protect your heroes and uh, don't get caught up on one single unit. Because my shard bearer, yes, he was really powerful. But he was really slow his stat line was only a movement of four when people usually average around five or six inches and so i couldn't maneuver him very well and so if he had instead of attacked my shard bearer here if he had moved his heavy ogres down here to take this objective and moved these ogres over here to to take out my elites he could have had a probably a much better game for himself um, and been able to take more objectives from me so i hope you enjoyed this battle report